Hello and welcome to the spooky, frightening haunted halls, Green Hill Sanitarium. My name is Michael, and in this video I am going to be going through chapter number four. That is the chapter where everything is upside down! All throughout this chapter, I'm probably going to break into that weird voice which I seem to enjoy. Because it makes the game scary! This time around, the special item is medical chart number eight. We can actually go inside these rooms now, but I'm not going to. I'm actually going to go into the hallway and solve puzzles over here. So let me see. First, we go to the operation room, where Pinocchio is undergoing a rhinoplasty. Hmm. Makes sense. So, I have a chisel. That's all I need from this room at the moment. Now let's go into relax room, where everything is nice and calm. Use the chisel here, and you're going to get a bark beetle. A beetle of death! Because it's scary! Oh, did I not mention? I'm playing this game because it's October, and everybody says I need to play scary games for October. So that's why everything is scary here in Haunted Hills. This time around, your special item is a rifle! A rifle of evil! Okay, back to the operation room. What are we doing here? We are grabbing a syringe because we have this stuff. Disgusting mucus. And the mucus is a magical growth serum. This game is weird. Um, <clears throat> I mean, this game is frightening and scary. Happy Halloween, everyone. So, what you want to do is grab an engine part, um, use the rifle on the target for a manhole handle, and use the syringe on Pinocchio. Now for something which makes perfect sense, and which is not at all weird or strange. Use the woodpecker on Pinocchio to get a flute. Hmm, looks like we need a saw, though. So let's saw off Pinocchio's nose. And what about this? Ah, more hidden objects. This time, the item is an elevator button. Elevator button number two. Whoa, and we have another hidden object screen. This time, we are going to get a funnel. Oh, okay. We have a funnel. Right, so, uh, let me see. Over here! Remember this room? This was another room with two hidden objects challenges in a row. Now you can actually go through this area to find, um, another engine part. Another engine part. And a plant. Use the growth serum on the plant, and the plant will grow! Pretty crazy looking plant. Right, so, now we're going back to relax room, because we have another hidden objects challenge. Hold on a second, is that beer over here in the corner? Yeah, there's beer in this game! You know, that could explain why the game is so weird. Maybe the producers were drunk the whole time. So, jukebox token was the special item there. Use it here to get the flower to dance. Dance, dance! Dance, 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 dance. Oh, the music's over. Okay, well, um, dancing. Now, the plant is frozen for some reason. So you can use the mallet and get a valve handle for some reason. I blame the Heineken. Okay, so, um, which room is this? We 
We are actually helping people in this game. That's the point of this game. We go through all the rooms and we save the patients who have been trapped by cruel, cruel fate. So, for example, number seven, guy number seven is not this guy, not that guy, not that guy, not that. Here he is, Richard Spike, who is claustrophobic. And he is trapped in an elevator. Oh no, oh, poor Richard. So we need to figure out some way to help him. Another engine part and a brush. Another engine part and another engine part. So what we have to do is actually get some paint on that brush. Do you remember that uh, painting dude? Uh, where was he? He was over here. So he has paint. You want to use the brush on the paint. And now we have to go all the way back to the elevator. Lots of backtracking for just one puzzle. Okay, here you go. Here's your brush, man. Which means we can solve this puzzle. Fantastic. So, elevator button here. Do I have a light bulb? I don't think I do. The light bulb is in the upside down room. It's right here. Just open it up. That's kind of nice. You have the, the sound effect every time you move your mouse over the elevator. That That's cool. That's cool. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. Good job. Good job. Light bulb here. So, right light bulb three times. One, two, three. Left light bulb four times. One, two, three, four. Then middle light bulb. And uh, the two button twice. One, two. Pull the lever. And that's it, everyone. We have saved the man who is claustrophobic. And he gave us a medallion, just like everybody else who we save. He just sort of slides outside. Just slide from left to right. Just slide. No fear in sight. Um, number eight, right? This guy's number eight. Medical chart number eight. This is the man who is afraid of heights. Poor Mr. Man. Okay, so here we have a puzzle. Finally, we get to use all those engine parts that we've been finding. This is a two-part puzzle. You need to figure out which parts go where based on the outlines. And then you need to figure out um, the order to put the parts in. Here's your guide, which tells you absolutely nothing. Yep. It's scary! Woo! So just try a bunch of random pieces until you figure out the correct pieces. Alright, there we go. Okay, so we fixed the generator, and now we can pick up medical chart 6. Picking up medical chart 6! Triggers! Hidden objects! And now we get some gasoline for the engine that we just assembled. So let's see, uh, the funnel, then the gasoline, and flip the switch. Oh, the, the rope is broken. Oh, jeez. Okay, well, use the flute here. I am pretty sure oxygen tanks don't work like that. However, it has it has freed the rope. Pretty sure ropes don't work like that either, which means we can turn on the machine which is not connected to anything at all. Pretty sure ski lifts don't work like that. And we have saved Mr. Man. My feet are on firm ground once again. I was sure I would die in that chair or fall to my death. By keeping your own fears in check, you were able to save me! Great, so let me see. We need to solve uh, three things, don't we? I think we do. So, that means we need to use medical chart number six. Oh, by the way, see this? See the snail? Grab the snail. 
and go over here to this hallway with medical chart number six. What horrors await us here? The horrors of death! See, this is a, this is an axe murderer, or actually more like a knife murderer. A knife murderer, and and a bear trap, and creepy, gruesome sounds. Also, there's a puzzle. Okay, so with this puzzle, what you want to do is put um all the things on the board. This puzzle has multiple solutions, but for some reason, I was unable to find any of them. So I'm just going to use the skip button. This is the room with the patient. You can see he's being tortured by by the knife, by the by the sounds and somehow he's being tortured by the bear trap. Not sure how. Well, the red light. The red light shows somebody's in the bear trap, but apparently that's so frightening this man can't handle it. Snail, use the snail on the duck. And now, it's not a frightening murderer, it's just a sleeping duck. Oh, and there's a hidden objects challenge. Once again, we have the French curve item, which people who have commented on an earlier video have told me is a real thing. It's a curve, which is French. And our special item is, of course, the crowbar! Named after its inventor, Dr. Heydrich von Barr. Okay, I just made that up. But hey, the legs are free. And so the light is green, but this guy can't stand the scratching and the scratching and the, the scratching and the scratching. And why are there so many ears on the wall? That is creepy. Okay, well, instead of, you know, taking off the headphones, um, the guy just listens to the sounds. All right, uh, hidden objects time, hidden objects time. Our special item this time is wire cutters. Simply use them over here to cut off the sound to the headphones. And we have freed, freed the person who is afraid of being killed. Death to the monsters, including the sanitarium director. I'm sure they won't murder me now! So, we have our three things, our three things which we received from the three sanitarium patients. How many patients are left? So, that guy is the eye. Um, the wind is the bird. Here's the wall. Looks like there are two more patients. We will solve the uh, puzzles surrounding the two final patients in the next chapter of the game.